Hey, it's Dave Dolphin at practicalworshipblog.com, sharing ideas, tips, and practical advice for the everyday worship leader. Today we are talking about wired in-ear monitors and specifically doing a product review of these Elite Core headphone extensions. Now I probably should mention up front that I have no connections with this company other than they take my money when I buy these things, but I discovered these trying to solve a problem and it was a great solution and you might be in a similar situation. So some of the members of the band are wireless. We have our singers, they have wireless mics. The acoustic guitar player has a wireless pack that straps onto the strap of their acoustic guitar. And then also their in-ears are wireless as well. So you've got this little clip here that can clip onto their belt or uh, their clothing or something like that. And then when you plug in your in-ears, it does this. And there's a place for this connection to hang. However, if you are wired, you generally have a plug that's kind of like this, and you plug in your in-ears like this. What do you do with this connection? Well, if you do nothing and you just let it hang, it kind of tugs on your head like this. Um, or I've been known to take this and stuff it in my back pocket or maybe thread it through a belt loop, but that kind of degrades the quality if you're bending the wire all the time and all these different things. So what can you do with this connection that isn't going to degrade the quality, but also not tug on you while you're trying to do the service? So one day I found these headphone extensions from Elite Core. And on this side, you have a place to plug in your in-ear monitors. And then on this side, it has this XLR jack, and then it has a clip that can hang on your belt or on your clothing or things like that. And so you take your in-ear monitors and they go like that. And then there's this cable that goes along with it. One side of it is, you know, a tip ring sleeve like you'd expect coming out of a headphone jack. And then the other side of it has this uh, XLR cable. Now don't think of this as a balanced microphone cable. This is, it's got three pins. One's ground, one's left channel, one's right channel, just like this one. It's just converting this kind of a plug to this kind of a plug. The benefit of this is that you then take this cable and, and plug it in and it hangs there and it's ready to rock. So this simple extension right here is about $20. They do make a version that has a volume knob on it. That's $25. So I'm gonna put links to all the things that you're seeing in the description below in this video so you can get more information, look at reviews and things like that. The cables that you will need, the tip ring sleeve to the XLR, uh, you can buy those in 10 foot lengths and also 18 foot lengths or if you're handy with a soldering iron, just make your own. Now considering how inexpensive these things are, they're pretty reliable when they do fit some of the common things that we've discovered is uh, sometimes maybe one of the sides uh, will go out. You know, there's a bad connection point in there and the left channel or the right channel will go out. Sometimes we've had that little ring right there come out, come off, and so the jack will go inside of the box. And I bet if I spent some time with it, I probably could fix it, but uh, it's $20. I just get another one. I, you know, in the four or five years that we've used them, I've probably replaced the same number, so about one a year. Again, considering the price point and how much we use these week after week after week, they're pretty reliable. Now, I should probably mention that Behringer has just come out with their own version of this model that has the volume control knob on it. Theirs is $30. I don't have any experience with it yet, but I will put a link to that in the description below as well. And uh, I'll probably get my hands on some here pretty soon, and we'll see if there's any difference in the quality between the Behringer and these elite cores. So that's kind of a look into our wired in-ear monitor system and specifically a product review of the Elite Core headphone extension. So when you have a connection like this and you're trying to figure out where does this go, you use something like this that has a clip that hangs on your clothing. Well, thank you so much for watching here at Practical Worship. We love sharing ideas and tips and practical advice for the everyday worship leader with videos just like this one. So if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you know when new videos come online here at YouTube every single week. And if you enjoyed this, you might know someone else that might benefit from this information. Consider sharing it on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and places like that. And for more great practical advice, check out practicalworshipblog.com.